Hi everybody, it's Trevor from a beautiful but very chilly early morning St. Louis in America and uh, I'm here for a, a week or so. These people are amazing, they're so kind, they're so accommodating and I just want to extend a huge thank you to, to the church and to our friends the Huftons for their incredible hospitality. These are amazingly good people. So, but today we're in the book of Joshua at last and we're looking at the different tests that God has taken different people through for different reasons. And we look at the test today of Achan, Achan's test of not being willing to trust God. Now, we look at the issue of trusting God as maybe like an option if I want to and I'm happy if I, if I don't get the benefit of what it means to trust God. But there are times when trusting God are life and death experiences. The story of Achan is probably the, one of the most radical stories of what it truly means to respond to the command of God to trust Him. It's not an option. It's not a, a half-baked thing. It is a command of God to trust Him. You see what had happened was Joshua and his troops and his men had taken Joshua, but God had commanded them that they should not take anything of the city. You see, Joshua was the devoted city. It was the city that was to be offered up for destruction or for God's use, and they weren't allowed to touch the first fruit offering or the devoted thing as they went into the land of promise. Now, you know the land of promise. We often think of crossing Jordan as being the line that is between this life and, and heaven, and we sing songs about crossing Jordan, thinking that we're going into heaven. It's nothing like that at all. The crossing of the line of Jordan is the crossing of the line of salvation. It's the line that we cross in order to enter into the kingdom of God and into a relationship with Christ. It's at that point that we become believers. And God is, is saying to us, if you want to go into the promised land, the first lesson you've got to learn is you've got to deal radically with sin. And the sin of not trusting God is what I say it is. It's a sin of not trusting God. And so Achan went in like all the other people did at the time, and he, he saw a beautiful garment. He thought, nobody can see me. I'll take it. He saw gold. He saw silver. And because he couldn't trust God for what was still to come, he took that. And I guess that probably the mind on what was on his mind was, God has made this thing available to me. He has an opportunity for me to take something, and then I don't have to trust God so much. And he didn't trust God for that which was still to come. And so Achan's sin of not trusting God had huge consequences. Now we all know that sin is sin, and sin leads to death. Without sin we would not be dying, we'd still be in the Garden of Eden. But sin leads to physical death and also to a spiritual death. But the physical death that he suffered was not just for him. You see, the consequence of our sin is sometimes not just for us. It's, it, the ramifications roll on into the next generation and not only Achan suffered for his sin, but his entire family died as a result of his sin. Look, this is a radical story. It's a, it's a radical lesson of obedience to trust God and to deal radically with sin. Christians out there, we should hate sin. Anything that smells like sin, we should abhor, we should run from. We should get away from as quickly as we can because our relationship with Christ is determined very often by this. Now, I know that God is gracious. I know that our salvation is pretty secure if we genuinely believe us in Christ. But we should hate the thought that we would offend God by not trusting Him. And I hope today that as we go into this, this next week of devotionals that you will understand because this is a great lesson that comes out of the book of Joshua. Let's go out there. Let's hate sin. Let's stand for righteousness. And above all else, people, let's learn what it really, I mean, really means to trust God and to obey Him no matter, no matter the cost. Go and have a great day. Bye.